Today's story is Protector of the Ocean. Kai lived near the ocean. She always had. For as long as she could remember, it was her and the ocean. She was an adventurer, who was curious about the ocean and all it had to offer. Each day she would explore the shoreline, and each day she discovered something new. One day she found something spectacular. It was a baby sea turtle, stuck in the sand. Kai slowly reached out her hand, when she heard a loud squawk. She looked up and noticed a hungry seabird. It was stalking the baby turtle, ready to soar down and scoop it up. Before the seabird could get a chance, Kai carefully pulled the baby turtle out of the sand. It smiled at her delightfully. Thank you, you saved me, the baby turtle squeaked. My name is Bella. Kai's eyes widened in amazement. You can speak, she asked. You protected me. I can trust you to keep this secret, Bella replied. Kai smiled and gently placed the turtle near the shore. Bella disappeared beneath the waves of the vast ocean. That day, Kai declared herself protector of the ocean. Every day after that, she swam with Bella. They quickly became best friends. They explored the coral reefs together, from sunrise to sunset. When Kai saw a creature in danger, she would protect it. The summer was wonderful, but it was quickly coming to an end, and it was time for Kai to go to school. Even though she was busy with homework and meeting new friends, she would still visit Bella each week. The turtle also met new friends. But none were as special to her as Kai. Kai taught Bella games, and Bella showed Kai new discoveries. They enjoyed the wonders of the ocean and helped the creatures within it. Kai continued to visit the ocean year after year, but each year she spent less time at the ocean than the last. By the time Kai started high school, she barely had time to visit Bella, but she thought about her friend often. Why don't you come to swim as often? Bella asked her one day. I am very busy with school, homework and activities, but I promise I will always come back to protect the ocean. Are you happy? Bella asked. Yes, Kai replied. The turtle smiled. Then so am I. In what felt like a blink of an eye, Kai went off to college, far away to study, for what she wanted to be when she grew up, but she had no idea what her calling was. She often found herself dazing off during class, dreaming of the adventure she and Bella had, exploring the ocean. She missed her turtle friend. She wondered what Bella was doing right now. Kai decided to take a trip back home to visit after being away for a long while. When Kai got home, she dashed to the ocean. When she pushed through the palm tree leaves, she was saddened to see the beautiful shoreline where she used to adventure had changed. She hopped over pieces of trash and dove beneath the water. The coral reef that she and Bella had once frolicked in was no longer vibrant and beautiful. It was now covered in plastic bottles, bags, straws, and other pieces of garbage. What happened to this place, she thought. I need to find Bella. As she swam further, she noticed Bella swimming with a piece of plastic hanging from one of her flippers. When Bella heard Kai coming, she spun around and gleamed at Kai and swam towards her. Bella removed the piece of plastic from her flipper. You came back for us, Bella said. Please help me protect my babies. Our home is not the same. At that moment, Kai remembered her calling was to protect the ocean. She decided she was going to create a device to clean up the pollution. She was going to become an environmental engineer. 
More years went by and Kai was standing in front of hundreds of people. On the same shoreline, she had explored as a child, presenting the device that would clean up the plastic pollution in the ocean. And for three years, my team and I have worked on this design. This technology will help remove trash from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is where most of the ocean's garbage is collected. This will protect our oceans and the animals that live within it. But we still need everyone to do their part to keep our wildlife safe, Kai announced. The crowd cheered loudly. The kids jumped up and down excitedly. One shouted, save the turtles. Kai smiled proudly at the crowd and gave a wink to Bella, who was watching from the ocean. In the distance was a young boy exploring to shoreline. The something particular caught his eye. When he moved closer, he noticed it was a baby bird stuck underneath the fishing net. He removed the net and carefully scooped the baby bird up into his hands. It smiled at him delightfully. Thank you. The baby bird peeped. You saved me. The boy smiled and gently placed the baby bird on the sand. The bird scurried away, happy to be free. That moment, he declared himself protector of the wildlife. 